Hi, rainbows. How you doing? I hope you had a great day. It was really sunny and beautiful today. Oh my gosh. I thought I saw a unicorn. I did. I thought it was going through my neighborhood and I tried to catch it. Luckily, I also came across this book about catching the unicorn. Let's read it. Here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Let's catch our book and share it with you. There we go. How to catch a unicorn. Come on, book. There we go. How to catch a unicorn. On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm riding on a rainbow and I'm heading to the zoo. I didn't go to the zoo, but I know I saw a unicorn. The kids think they've spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Here's what the kids say. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I believe they fart glitter. I think that's true. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. You guys can't see this, but I have to move and I don't move on your screen. I had to move so I could see the words. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will make sure I escape. Come on here, book. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. And the zebra says, kick, he kicked that cage. I dodge the plastic parachute being launched down from below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. Do you remember with the glitter? I farted. I chill with all my penguin pals, but these traps are everywhere. I'll head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magic horn. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink my size. But it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. Maybe they're at the Franklin Park Conservatory. My nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh, yum. I snag a little bite before I fly away. Do you see where he went right through? Now, next up, I go where it's hot and where lots of scales. The snakes and lizards help me, though, with their clever tails. I turned the page before I was even done reading. I love this page. I'm big again and with more friends. These monkeys make me laugh. But I would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. And he goes, cut, chop, with his neck through those paper chains. What's over there? A paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring. Run! Uh-oh. While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. Look at those teeth. The gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But luckily for me, there's a decoy to safely take the wrap. A decoy is something that may look like a unicorn, and I see a narwhal. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best, your traps were smart, but unicorns are fast. 
Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. The end. And this unicorn is saying, better luck next time. That was a lot of fun. So I wonder how you could make a unicorn trap. If you were going to trap a unicorn in your house, what would you do? Would you use a box? Would you use a basket? Would you use tape? Make sure if you're going to make one, check with your parents first before you get the materials so they know your plan and maybe they could help you catch a unicorn. Bye, rainbows. I love you.